What's up, Flashes? I'm Jackson. And I'm Amaya. Your Franklin Central News for November 6th starts now. Are you ready to unlock the power of data? Explore the exciting world of statistic analysis with our career chat. Join us as seasoned experts share their insights, revealing the endless possibilities in statistical analysis. From deciphering trends to influencing decisions, your journey to statistics begins here. Connect with like-minded individuals, ask questions, and pave the way for your data-driven future. Sign up for November 8th at 9 a.m., either using the QR code posted below or on the counseling website. Don't miss out on this opportunity to shape your career. Reserve your spot now. Hi, I'm Aiden Murray with FCTV, and today I'm going to give you guys a rundown of FC's We the People Regionals competition. FC's We the People team arrived at IUPUI's School of Political Sciences early in the morning. Shortly upon arrival, each unit, one through six, would read their prepared statements in front of a panel of judges, whom would later ask follow-up questions of each unit in relation to their questions. My name is Chase Rigler. I'm a senior at Franklin Central. We're here at the uh, We the People competition, regionals. Uh, we took care of business. It was fun. Got to ask some hard questions, but uh, we handled it, and yeah. I'm Abby Ray. I'm a senior. I think today we did a really good job. I think all of our units really knew their constitution, knew their court cases, knew what they needed to know, and really just locked in. So I think we did a good job today. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tim Sokolowski. I'm a teacher at Franklin Central High School. I teach We the People, United States Government, and AP Government. Um, how do you think the competition went today? Uh, overall, I think it did really well. Uh, the students uh, came with two prepared statements uh, ready to answer uh, the follow-ups, and I thought all six units did a great job of delivery of the prepared statements, uh, and all of them did a fantastic job responding to the follow-up questions by the judges. What is your favorite thing about teaching We the People? Ooh, my favorite thing about teaching We the People is days like today, competition day. Uh, I love seeing all the students' hard work pay off. I love seeing them kind of actually competing on the panels, getting these questions on the fly, uh, and the kind of look of satisfaction on their faces uh, after they know they did a good job. How many teams have you taken to state or nationals? Uh, I've, taken to sev uh, I've taken seven of my eight teams to the state competition. We, our highest place at the state level has been fourth. The teams will find out if they make it to state this Wednesday. The holidays are coming and some people don't have enough food to make a day today, let alone to celebrate the holidays. That is why we are holding a food drive for Spark. Between November 6th and November 10th, bring in your non-perishable donation items to first period. Your first period class with the most donations will receive Jack's Donuts. Woohoo! We would love to have canned meats, shelf-stable um, breakfast items like breakfast bars and cereals, box items like pasta, mac and cheese, and brownie mixes, and personal care items, cleaning supplies, scan the QR code on the flyer here around the building to complete lists. Thank you for so much generosity and compassion. Flash's BPA is having its annual online spirit sale. These items are perfect for Chris perfect Christmas gifts for the whole family. Make sure to get yours now by scanning the QR code. This amazing sale won't last long. This sale ends November 19th, so hurry and get it while you can. Lady Flashes Wrestling won the New Palestine Invitational for the second year in a row this past weekend. Reese Bass and Jenna Thompson both won their individual matches. Way to go, ladies. Stay up to date with all things FC and Franklin Township at fchsnews.com. Check out the different stories, videos, and more. Now everyone, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
you like Taylor Swift? Not really. Uh, why not? I don't know. I just don't listen to her music. Are you a fan of Taylor Swift? No. No? Why not? Poverty artist. You think she's a poverty artist? <laughs> not really, nah. Not really? Why not? Eh, she's just kind of overrated in my eyes. Like, she, she has some good songs that, that I listen to, but mm, I don't really know. No. No? Why not? Uh, no. No. Uh, would you ever go to a Chiefs game to shake your hand? No? All right. Me. Um, are you fans of Taylor Swift? Yes. No. No? Uh, why not? I don't know. Uh, what is your favorite album of Taylor Swift's? Uh, Lover. Lover? Or Speak Now. Um, would you recommend her music to another person? Yes. Uh, why is that? Um, I mean... I personally like Taylor Swift because of how like pop like is her music is, but I guess if you like any type of music, she kind of does it. Oh, no. um, are you a fan of Taylor Swift? I love it. You love it? Uh, what would you say your favorite album of hers is? Uh, 1989. All right. And then would you say you're a small Chiefs fan now? I was a big Chiefs fan before. Oh, you were? Um, are you a fan of Taylor Swift? I am not. <laughs> you are not? Uh, why not? <laughs> um, she's pretty... I don't know. All right, thank you. There we go. Um, are you a fan of Taylor Swift? Um, so, so. Some of the albums, yes. Some of the albums, no. Like, uh, 1989 and, um, what's the other one? Thing, and her new song, The Antihero. I love that one. Yes. Yes? Uh, what would you say your favorite one of her songs is? Um, either Cruel Summer or Love Story. I just don't listen to her that often. That's fair enough. Thank you. That's all we have for today. Tune in tomorrow for more FCTV news and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.